Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Pam Kastner and I have the honor of serving as Patent's State Lead Consultant for Literacy. Welcome to the webcast series, Leaders and Learning in Literacy. Today I have the honor of welcoming Amy Healy from the Capital Area Intermediate Unit and she's here to talk about the amazing reading network at the Capital Area Intermediate Unit. Welcome, Amy. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, we're so excited to have you here. You're doing some wonderful things with the Reading Network. Uh, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about how did the Reading Network start at the Capital Area Intermediate Unit? Okay, well, um, we started really because of letters, oh. uh, language essentials for teachers of reading and spelling. Uh -huh. I am uh, a local letters trainer, and because of that, I have the opportunity to um, hear from the experts that are out there in the field, attend mm -hmm. web webinars, and one of um, the things that I attended was here at Patton, mm -hmm. was David Kilpatrick mm -hmm. uh, about three years ago, mm -hmm. and that really um, changed my thinking about how I want to approach uh, training in my position. Um, at the IU, I do um, uh, a lot of training and consultation in, in the schools and helping them implement multi-tiered systems of support, mm -hmm. really focusing on literacy instruction and intervention. And uh, after listening to David Kilpatrick that day and reading his book, The Essentials Book, mm -hmm. I knew I had to get that information out. out. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And one of the things that he stresses and that we hear all the time, and Emily Hanford had mm -hmm. said in the fall, that there is that gap from research to the classroom practice. And I knew the, the type of uh, supports I was giving schools, I was getting a little bit, getting mm -hmm. there, um, but I needed to do something bigger. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the IU has some different networks, but they are for superintendents and curriculum and special ed uh, supervisors, mm -hmm. principals, but there wasn't something for reading and I really was targeting reading specialists, Yes. but it's really open to anybody who is a teacher of reading, mm -hmm. and anyone who wants to attend. Um, I was a former reading specialist, mm -hmm. and... Once a reading specialist, always a reading specialist. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. And I was one of those people that people turn to um, mm -hmm. for the answers in, in reading. You know, what do I do with this, this student? What intervention should I do? Yeah. And that's happening with our reading specialists out in the field, yeah. and they're often giving the PD, they're mm -hmm. not getting the PD. Yes, there you go. And they need something. And so it's kind of my thinking, I want to target that group, mm -hmm. um, really try to grow their knowledge. We know that when teachers are leaving their, their undergrad and graduate level programs, they don't know the about the reading. science of no. reading. And even as a reading specialist, I mean, I, I didn't know the things I that I knew you. until I had mm -hmm. letters. Mm -hmm. Uh, letters changed my life. Letters changed my <laughs> life, and, and then David Kilpatrick changed it even more. Yes, he did. Um, <laughs> so this is something that I really became passionate about, uh, at how can I address this problem in a bigger scale? Mm -hmm. And so I didn't think it would be as big as it is, it is in big. a short period of time. It's mm -hmm. been two years now. Um, I, I thought in the beginning I maybe would get 10 people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I had a room reserved for you know like 30 um, and it expanded so quickly I now have like 120 attending yes I know mainly reading specialists coaches within um, some principals too I've been yeah, seeing principals there, which is wonderful. Um, mm -hmm. uh, some curriculum people definitely uh, just expanded like so quickly more than I ever ever thought. Yeah, so. It really has made a huge difference in the region and, and beyond. So why don't you share some topics uh, and what is a typical reading network uh, session like? So I, I set up my sessions to be some content for them mm -hmm. but also some opportunity for them to share some networking. I want to give them some information, some news, some announcements. So it's it's usually a little bit of that news announcements in the mm -hmm. beginning, content for most of it, yeah. and wrap up some type of a sharing um, networking pieces in between. And I'm really trying to er encourage them to share more and more and mm -hmm. as we you know have been going on through each sessions and trying to get what's going on in their schools yeah you know as well definitely um, my first year I really spent each of our sessions we do four or five sessions mm -hmm. a year mm -hmm. um, focused throughout David Kilpatrick's book yes. and it was like yeah. the guide through mm -hmm. it 
So they had a good foundation, focus on phonological awareness. Um, you started with the science of reading, too, yeah. you know, those theoretical yeah. frameworks that, that are we, so essential. Because I was we, there, I think, for your first one. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so nervous, too. <laughs> <laughs> you did look nervous. <laughs> but we focused on um, the reading rope mm -hmm. and the simple view of reading. Yes. I always bring every session back to how does yes. it fit into to these two models. And then in the second year, it was more top topic-driven. Mm -hmm. um, some great sessions. I had some mm -hmm. guests come in. Mm -hmm. You were one of mm -hmm. our, yeah. our presenters. Yeah. Fortunate. Um, we did the advanced phonemic awareness. Mm -hmm. We've uh, Don Durham mm -hmm. from Patented Sound yep. Walls. Uh, I did one on decodable text versus oh, awesome. predictable mm -hmm. level text. And I just had one of our IU consultants um, that I work with, Lisa Smiley, do mm -hmm. one on executive function skills. Oh, isn't that wonderful? And that was so now they're so taking over some ownership and mm -hmm. pre presenting as well. So, so it's kind of where we we've, we've come, and we have some ideas of where we're headed, like in the future, or some mm -hmm. topics that are that are coming up as well. Awesome. So I know we've been uh, fortunate to uh, be on site when you're doing these sessions, but also you do a lot of. Uh, push out in terms of social media with mm -hmm. Twitter and, and, and Facebook. So you want to share a little bit about that because then everybody can join. Oh, I know sure. we were talking this morning, uh, folks from all over the world really have joined the network. It's not exclusive to the Capital Area Intermediate Unit or this region. Really anyone can be uh, take part, correct? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, okay. On our face-to-face -face sessions, mm -hmm. it's mainly within our right. IU. I have some that come from outside of the yeah. IU, yeah, uh, so which awesome. is really cool too, mm -hmm. that they don't have something within their IU, so they're joining mm -hmm. us. Uh, but for anybody else, we post everything on a Google site. I mm -hmm. share um, all of our presentations, all of our handouts, any links, mm -hmm. any video clips, it's all housed on the Google site, um, which I have a bit.ly link mm -hmm. for that. Um, we have Twitter, mm -hmm. and I try to tweet yes, out. you do anything that's out there that I think is worth them mm -hmm. taking a look at. And I use the hashtag, hashtag revealing reading. reading. Yep. And I have monthly chats, book studies. Mm -hmm. um, I try to keep our monthly chats around the topics that we just had in our session mm -hmm. as a follow-up. So those are open to anybody right. that wants to jump in that discussion. And then not everybody's on Twitter. Right. I, I push for it. <laughs> um, but Many people were asking me, you need to do something on Facebook yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah, I love your Facebook page. I mean, and you post very consistently. And the nice thing, too, is members are really also now posting a lot they of great are, things. They are. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. starting to post things and mm -hmm. share things. So I have the, the Facebook group. They mm -hmm. convinced me to do it. <laughs> and that is just CAIU Reading Network. And mm -hmm. anybody can ask to join mm -hmm. and become a member that way as well and share what's happening. and. I just I post things on that about every day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One of my favorite things and I have to post today. It's Thursday. Thursday, that's it's right. My thumbs up Thursday. Thursday. Uh -huh. At my favorite day of the week to mm -hmm. post, and that's I just awesome. highlight something great that I'm seeing in the field this week. All something right. that's out there, so you can look for that tonight sometime. Yeah, I, we love your thumbs up Thursday. <laughs> so why don't you talk about some celebrations since the network started? Because I know so there's some wonderful things happening in the area in terms of the science of reading, making a big difference for teachers and kids and reading specialists. Mm -hmm as well but you want to give a shout out to anyone oh I know you've goodness. done lots of thumbs up Thursday so oh my goodness there is so many wonderful things happening in general um, so many of our districts are focusing on phonological awareness yeah. now which yeah. we know is so so important mm -hmm. um, you've been working with Central Dolphin yes, and uh -huh. they have been um, all of their reading specialists and their uh, data specialists are attending mm -hmm. and sharing some of that work that's been mm -hmm. going on mm -hmm. and how yeah. they've been changing some practices with um, implementing Hagerty as one mm -hmm. of the programs, um, which has expanded to so many of our other mm -hmm. uh, districts. Um, they have brought Hagerty in mm -hmm. as well or Equip for Reading Success. success yes. So you know, just two of the most popular programs to help yeah. focus on that. Um, so they're working on those advanced phonemic Found awareness levels. No, it's so important for foundational skills. Yeah. yeah. Um, we have many of our districts that now are looking to do sound walls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and Don mm -hmm. Durham did and one I, just recently. That's yeah. Awesome. We went to Middletown mm -hmm. and there had all their K to two teachers trained. Um, so we can kind of support them That's next awesome. year. We're going to West Shore mm -hmm. in the summer to Yay. train all of them. Uh, and sporadic and other some districts that we have have gone to to uh, I think Central Dolphin is interested mm -hmm. in in having some sound wall yes, sessions yes, and uh -huh. anybody who wants that support we're kind of 
It's, hey, I we're just can't in help. Get, get over it. It's just like, as you said, I thought it would be like a small grassroots, mm -hmm. and it's really just taken off. And the great thing is that the districts are reaching out to you yeah. and initiating oh, I around can't the science of reading. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much. You've so worked much yourself into want. a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, there, there's just so many great things that mm -hmm. we're seeing that, that are happening in our, in our schools. And it yeah. really was this year that things are starting to take yeah, off. that's um, awesome. Decodable Text is another one. Mm -hmm. I know we do, we're doing trainings as well uh, here at Patton as well around Decodable Text and Sound Walls. Yeah. That has been such a need mm -hmm. that the it reading has. specialists are seeing and are looking and they just, they wanted to have a share at our last session. Uh -huh. So they all brought what Decodable oh, Text that they have so awesome. they could see what, yeah. what do you have what, before they yeah. went by. And what, is it really decodable? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. so that was pretty cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, oh. so we're seeing a lot of that happening mm -hmm. in, in just so many of our, our districts oh my in the gosh. area. It's, it is very exciting. Yeah. You've just done a great job leading this work. Well, you really you. have. It's, I love it. It's yeah, so much you fun, can tell. too. <laughs> you can tell. So any obstacles that have um, <clears throat> had to be overcome yeah, um, in the process? For me, not as much working okay. with them. They are a fabulous, mm -hmm. fabulous group of, of people. I love them. Mm -hmm. um, the hardest thing was just getting started yes. and having this conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm about to tell you things that maybe are challenging right. what you've always thought. Mm -hmm. um, Especially the theoretical frameworks yeah. and the science of reading. It is very new. I know, just like you, I did not learn it in my undergrad. My reading specialist it really was letters where I learned the science of reading. And I can still remember um, how um, saddened I was mm -hmm. that I hadn't had this information before and how it could have helped kids. So I often see teachers go through this kind of process of either, you know, it's almost a, a process mm -hmm. of grief and anger and sadness that this, this knowledge hasn't been out there. So yeah. did you see any of that? Yeah, yeah. And I addressed that in the beginning. I set norms mm -hmm. for okay. our sessions oh, and I always idea. go back to our norms. Uh -huh. And one of my norms is I want you to be open to what I'm mm -hmm. about to tell you. Mm -hmm. It may challenge your thinking. It's okay if you don't agree with me. It's okay, I want you to accept it. Leave here and just think about it. Right, And right. see if you can tweak anything for yourself. Mm -hmm. And they've been really great mm -hmm. about that. And one of my other norms is I want you to learn something. Right, I yeah. don't want you to leave and say I already knew all that. That's right, yeah. <laughs> learn something, learn something new at a deeper right. level. And they've mm -hmm. really been great about that. They have that. been. I think the obstacle that is the hardest the one is the one that they face they're the ones going back to the classrooms going back to their schools right. and sharing with with other teachers mm -hmm. and sometimes get a little push and yes. they don't have yeah. other people around them to support that network that. right yeah yes. sometimes yeah. a reading specialist is the only one in mm -hmm. the building mm -hmm. um, and then they have administrators that might be coming in and looking for something different than what they're yeah. learning or their curriculum may say something different. So mm -hmm. we're still kind of working through that. Mm -hmm. um, what's really cool about that is they're saying, we need you to come in and help <laughs> us. And yes. I'm talking to the districts mm -hmm. and now I'm starting to train some of their principal teams, mm, um, some of their administrators. That leadership is so important. Yeah, so they kind of understand why why my reading specialist wants money for decodable text. There you go. There I, you go. I need to know the why behind mm -hmm. this. Yeah, so the, it's, it's wonderful. Like the network is really expanding in the sense that they're sharing that knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's like you shared and now they're they're really spreading that message in their schools. Yeah. And they really are the boots on the ground and supporting them is really making such yeah. a big difference. I, I'd say Amy. they are the change agents. Yeah. They're not. Well, I just they're stand a change there and leader. Give them, <laughs> I give them the information and the uh -huh. supports and say, go get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're the and ones making Lots of encouragement. I know we were both talking about how we receive text messages and, th and things at all oh, kinds yeah. of times. All and the time. <laughs> how, actually, how wonderful it is, actually, to really, yeah. really help teachers. Yeah, love yeah. it, love So it. what do you see in the future for the Reading Network? Oh, my. Well, we just posted our dates yesterday for next okay. year. So I have five more sessions next year. Okay. Um, already, <laughs> the numbers are filling up. Oh, my gosh, already. that's awesome. But they have that's been great. waiting for those, those dates. dates. Uh -huh. That's awesome, Amy. So I'm looking at some different areas again to explore. Uh -huh. um, one of the things that came out of them at the end of this year was sight words versus high frequency oh, words, yes. adult and fry yeah, and, and yes. help. Yeah, I just did that with Central Dauphin, so yes, <laughs> they, yep, they I know. want that one, so that's on our radar. Oh, good. We also want to look more about the top part of the rope and mm -hmm. the language, language comprehension. comprehension. There's yeah. questions coming out of that, so those are things that we're thinking about. I love Louise Spears Swirling's oh, my gosh. reading profiles and yes. her work and From her that article. Book and that so article. I'm trying mm. to think what all that's going to fit in. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of like next year. Uh -huh. But bigger picture, I I'm, I'm, would love to share this out even bigger. Mm -hmm. um, 
I love the Reading League. Yes, we love the Reading League too. And I love yes. their live events mm -hmm. and that they yes. record and yes. share. And mm -hmm. I'd love to replicate that in some oh, little that would way be awesome. yes. in, here in Harrisburg, yes. like how to uh -huh. make that happen. Um, so I'd love to kind of have that, whether recording my yeah. sessions or webinars mm -hmm. or something that can get out to everybody. Yeah, that know, would be wonderful. And that they can share with their staff. Mm -hmm. And I give them, go ahead, take my stuff and, yes. and go with it because it's not mine. I'm just... It belongs to everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's kind of like the... Big picture. That's awesome, like Amy. Where I would love to head with that. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So, okay, so just as we close, how can people be a part of the Reading Network, even if they're not in this local region? Of course, mm -hmm. they can if they're in the region or even if they want to travel, they can certainly join face-to-face. Mm -hmm. -face. But I know we talked about the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, your Twitter handle is? It is at Amy Healy 25 it's And how to spell your name, though. <laughs> at A-M-I-H-E-A-L-Y 25. Mm -hmm. And they could go onto Twitter right. um, or Follow use you. the hashtag, mm -hmm. hashtag revealing reading. Okay. And how will they way. access all the resources? I know you talked about you have stuff on the Google Drive. Mm -hmm. What's the best way for them to access those resources or find out how I to get them? I will have them posted in, in Facebook and okay. on Twitter, but they can easily just email me okay. and I can send out that link, mm -hmm. that bit.ly link that okay. I can share what the work that That's we've awesome. done. Um, and my email is just um, <laughs> a Healy, A H E A L Y, at C A I U dot org. Perfect. So yeah. hit me up on any of those places <laughs> and I can make it happen. Yeah. Even if, if you join the network and say, hey, can you send mm -hmm. me this? I can do that. And you have, uh, as we were talking, people from really all over the world on the network. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. It's uh, been so A friend from Tokyo. So and cool. It, it is really cool. All countries are just joining mm -hmm. in and sharing mm -hmm. and learning from each other. Yeah. and. I love it. I yeah. love it. It's it is. Great. It's really. It's really wonderful. And so, uh, so you see the commitment to the science of reading, mm -hmm. uh, and for making and ensuring that kids can learn to read all across the globe. And it's wonderful yeah. that you're all leading kids. some of that work. All <laughs> kids. That's right. Yeah. All right. So. We're going to close with that. Okay. Thank you, Amy Thank Healy. You. Uh, we love the Reading Network at the Capital Area Intermediate Unit. Make sure if you can't participate in the face-to-face -face, that you uh, definitely follow up with either Facebook or on Twitter with Amy or even through her email so you can access the wonderful resources there. Um, she indicated, too, that everything that she's been doing with the Reading Network is available on this bit.ly that mm -hmm. she'll share with you, and that continues. So even everything she'll do this year will continue to mm -hmm. be on that bit.ly. Mm -hmm. So make sure you check that out. All right, so this is Dr. Pam Kastner and Amy Healy saying goodbye to you for leaders in learning and literacy. Thank you, as always, to our producer, John Ragsdale, and we look forward to seeing you next time.